Hi, and welcome back to another Megiddo Gaming video. Today we're doing our comment show, so full of questions, concerns, emotional outbursts, things of that nature. What? Ah. All right. Well, give a nice round of applause for, uh, well, here's the thing. I was in a stream last night and it was with Nova and Nova had pointed out that, you know, cryptic and especially the community moderators, you know, they're kind of on the front lines and they take all the hits. So when we're mad at the game, it seems like we're just mad at, you know, the figureheads and not directly pointing a finger. So today's word of the day is fuck. P-H-A-C. P for perfect world. H for Hasbro. A for Arc Games. And C for cryptic. So, when they get on our nerves, it's pretty much a big fuck you. Well, the reason I say this, and we'll go into our first comment here. Josh says, you didn't mention that River District Heroics got nerfed hard by about 80%. Well, I kind of wanted to save it for this video, and he kind of fell into my trap a bit. I wanted someone to comment about it. Uh, so, when the changes for Mod 14 rolled out, and all of the seals got shifted to Seals of the Brave, they didn't look hard enough to the fact that you can farm those seals quite quickly through the river district. Uh, so for those of you that had the chance of farming those heroics, awesome. You were able to get uh, your weapons, gear, whatever you wanted rather quickly. Uh, but what it seems is that, you know, without warning even, you know, even a warning would have been nice. Uh, they could have let us know that they were going to make that adjustment because there's many people that didn't get a chance to get those. I was excited for it because I was starting a new character on PC and then I would be able to farm those seals and get my weapons faster than even than I had on Xbox. But now, console players, once we get the update, that patch will already be in there, so uh, no good for you. So they gave us that big fuck you. Uh, the next comment is from Julian reassuring me that I will be able to play in the beta of Fallout 76. Yes, that is true. However, the way they've worded it, unless they give some better clarification, is you could be picked to play at any time. So I pre-ordered on Xbox and PC, so it's coming to Xbox first. So what'll happen is they'll start drawing names out of their little hat and then they will say, okay, well, you can go ahead and play and then wait a little bit and slowly filter people in. But then who's to say when I get drawn out of that hat, it could be a week or two before release. It, it, you know, when you say that everyone has access to the beta, but then you add your clarifications later, it feels like a bait and switch. That was the only reason why I put that rant video out is because they weren't clear enough and they made it sound as if you would have access right away as soon as the beta came out. You know, they wanted to break the servers, test it out. Well, now they're easing into it. So I don't know, we won't worry about that. Now your next comment is from Impale saying that he sells healing potions on PS4 for 2K per stack for gold. Huh? Hey, uh, I haven't personally tested that. I'm also on Xbox and PC, not on PS4. Uh, any way that you can find to make gold or AD, awesome. Thought I'd share that with everyone else. You guys can give it a try and see if it works well for you. Thanks for the post. Can I ask why you chose Half Orc? Well, there's really three main uh, races for the trickster rogue that are considered kind of best in slot and that would be the dragonborn and i tie that in with the metallic ancestry dragonborn uh, as well as the human and the half orc uh, now the human's additional feet points really help out uh start mid game but now where my character stands with all of the equipment i have all the feats boons everything i've got I actually benefit more from the crit severity bonus and also the fact that I get uh, increased uh, run speed into battle. 
uh, it helps me get ahead of some of the great weapon fighters and stuff when I'm playing in the dungeons. And then Callie Gold says, great video, thanks for my Fallout uh, rant that I had. I definitely appreciate all you Neverwinter players also supporting me and watching my videos on Fallout, even if you don't plan on getting Fallout, I greatly appreciate it. And Josh, you're the only feedback I got on this, so you know what, I am going to put out that video, it's coming Wednesday. But I'll be sure to put a disclaimer to make sure, uh, you know, to warn everyone that it may be considered unethical. And just remember everyone, if Neverwinter ever gets you down, and they're making changes you don't like, just remember that they're just giving you the good old fuck you. But don't let that discourage you, there's still great things about the game. With any game, there's going to be changes that we don't like. Thanks for watching. Click the left to see the previous video. Click to the right to see another video. And down at the bottom to subscribe. And to stay up to date with what's going on with the channel, follow on Facebook and Twitter.